DevOps. It's a word which we are hearing nowadays a lot. DevOps engineer wanted or how to become a DevOps engineer. All these are trending nowadays a lot because as web is growing and as all the IT infrastructures are growing, the demand for DevOps increased a lot in recent years, especially due to whatever happened in 2020. Hi guys, my name is Manjunath and in this video, I'm going to talk about DevOps and how you can get started becoming a DevOps developer or even engineer. So without delay, let's just try to understand what is DevOps. In order to understand what is DevOps, you need to try to understand what is IT infrastructure. Most people are not even aware that IT infrastructure is one of the probably biggest infrastructure in the world at the moment. You don't see it day to day basis or whenever you are walking towards something, you don't see IT infrastructure. It's at least not the infrastructure which I'm talking about right now. You might see computers, mobile phones and all those things. Those are also even IT infrastructure. But I'm talking about data centers, cloud and all the things which makes one website or one mobile application function. So these IT infrastructure mostly include servers which are running in data centers and all the applications, programs and whatnot running on that particular data center and that particular server. All these infrastructure make this video come to you and you are watching this particular video in YouTube probably because of this IT infrastructure which Google laid out for themselves. And all these infrastructures are laid out by Amazon, Microsoft and all the other big big companies, even small companies have their infrastructure. But mostly all these big companies dominate in the IT infrastructure market. So this IT infrastructure require some well known engineers to work on deployment of whatever the application that needs to be deployed and all these applications uh, are being developed by developer maybe web developer maybe front end developer maybe back end developer maybe database admin and all these people they work on whatever the platform they are working on that is if they are working on java then obviously they are responsible for what's happening in that particular program and whenever this program gets deployed to these servers that time what happens it's actually not their responsibility because they have tested it in their local computer and it is working fine there but when it's being deployed or when it goes to online that time they don't have much control over it most of the time they don't even have access to the infrastructure that is the it infrastructure where their code or their program runs all these are managed by devops engineers and their responsibility is to make sure whatever the developer developed it reaches to the customer fine and whatever the process presence in between runs smoothly that is whatever the operations that needs to happen day to day basis on their servers that works absolutely fine and end user don't even see any kind of lag or any kind of problem which backend or even some other developer might have created or which might have present. So this is the basic job of DevOps engineer. So now you might be asking how to get started for becoming DevOps engineer. My suggestion is in order to get started with DevOps, just try to install a Linux virtual machine because whatever the infrastructure is made up of, mostly it runs on Linux. So Linux is the one of the basic thing which you need to have knowledge of to become DevOps. And once you get familiar with Linux, then you need to go a little bit further and try to deploy this Linux operating system on a cloud. So what is cloud? 
cloud is something where you have option to deploy all these kind of infrastructure namely google cloud or digital ocean or even amazon web services are most popular ones out there and just try to create one account in aws and try to deploy this particular linux it will not be same as how you deploy using virtual box in your computer it will be a little bit different but once you get started with deploying linux on aws then you can start deploying some of the servers and it keeps on going i can keep on talking about this but these are the some of the basic steps which you can take today itself in order to get started with devops and eventually down the road you will get introduced with different technology which are present in this infrastructure and there is no end to it you will have to keep on learning everything every day and the more and more you learn the more and more confident you will get about handling all these kind of infrastructure so that's it for this video guys and hope to see you becoming a devops guy and or girl so that's it for this video guys don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video like and if you have any doubts regarding devops just post a comment down and i'll surely reply to it and see you soon bye bye